We back, we back at the short hiatus, Hood Stories, episode seven, talking about Rick Carter, Maserati Rick, Detroit, street legend, and um, I know a lot of people probably seen the movie White Boy Rick, I didn't see it, um, I know the story and I heard they completely, you know, fucked the story up, it really was just based on a true story, but it wasn't nothing true about the story, and Maserati Rick was part of... Um, you know, some of the people that White Boy Rick associated with, the best friends, I believe, are made up of uh, Dimitri Holloway, Maserati Rick, best friend, and White Boy Rick, all right? And Maserati Rick, most people might have heard the name, might not know the story, um, you know, and also, you know, to make it interesting for some of our boxing people, his brother was a boxer, and he managed boxers, and also, I believe, Rick um, had a relationship, I believe, um, with Tommy Hearns and Sugar Ray Leonard, but it's the Boxing Clinic and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. And yes, we do more than boxing here. We have a whole Hood Stories playlist, six other episodes. We're going to get back on the hop with this from time to time. I'll re reboot some of these series that I do, classic or not. We go back and review uh, albums to see are they classics or not. And, um, you know, Hood Stories what we're doing right now. We drop a few of them over the weekend, but... Um, Maser Maserati Rick actually, um, you know, got his name, which I'll get into that, how he got the name Maserati Rick, even though he was more into Mercedes Benz's, okay, but, um, you know, you know, old, um, you know, uh, drug dealer, you know, uh, uh, called him Seal Murray, fell off, you know, YBI started to cripple, whatever, and Maserati Rick, um, you know, rose up from the east side, him and friend, his friend, his his best friend Dimitri Holloway, uh, which he had a fatal ending. We'll talk about him in a later series. And um, you know, they came up slanging crack, um, rose from the trenches. East side of Detroit was probably black around the time. You had black bottom before that. And um apparently they came up, you know, selling uh selling crack. And um, you know, they took over after Seal Murray uh, you know, you know, went and then you had the Chamber Brothers, you had uh, the Curry Brothers, you had a lot of different characters in Detroit. I mean, the Detroit drug scene, and, you know, street scene is so deep that, you know, you can just go back even now and still and, and pull up, you know, numerous of street legends. But uh, Maserati Rick was real, was, was a real square business, businessman. He had car washes, you know, his brother was a boxer. He had a close relationship with Tommy Hearns and Sugar Ray Leonard. And, um... You know, one of the reasons he got his name, Maserati Rick, was, you know, uh, this is the legend that goes with this, says that, um, you know, him and Dimitri Holloway and a few other guys would actually have competition on, you know, who can pull up in the most fly, lavish car. And like I said, Rick was into uh, dances, but he was the first dude in Detroit back in the 80s, I believe, to pull up in a Maserati, and he definitely killed the scene. And ever since then... You know, he was dubbed Maserati Rick. And, um, you know, and you know when, when you're on top or when you're balling, you're always going to have haters. And one guy, which I won't say his name, you know, it's no, just not going to say his name. Uh, you know, Rick used to sell weed to, became his deepest competition. You know, after they had a dispute at a, uh, at uh, uh, at the, the guy's um, unisex hair salon, okay? And then they became bitter enemies. The guy... Um, build up his team to, uh, you know, build up his team, his crew, and start cutting into a uh, Rick's pocket. They became bitter enemies over 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 a debt that my man's didn't want to pay to Rick, and uh, they would try to kill each other several times. And ultimately, uh, one of the dudes, um, you know, uh, hitman, you know, and it was coming very dangerous in the city. You know, caught Rick at his car wash. They wounded each other. Uh, you know, long story short, they're in the hospital. My man's heal up first, came in, shot Rick while he was in the hospital. And uh, that was, you know, you know, September 10th, I think, what was it, 88. Um, that was the end of his chapter. Um, and, you know, most people know him not just for being Maserati Rick across the nation, not for just being the richest guy, whatever it may be. But he is re uh, well known for at the time. Um, I don't know what the inf infl uh, inflation was as far as the money, but he was buried in a $16,000 Mercedes Benz casket, like I said before, that was his favorite car. And this casket had wheels on it. This casket, um, you know, had Mercedes Benz parts on it. He was married, he was buried in a um in Mercedes Benz uh in Mercedes Benz casket. And that was very, very 
um, lavish. That's, you know, out of respect, I didn't put that picture up here, but you could find it on the internet. Okay. And Google, you just search his name, my Roddy, Roddy Rick, it'll come up. And, um, you know, what he was a part of, which I didn't want to dig in deep too, into deep about it, which I'll get into the best friends conglomerate, um, with white boy Rick, Dimitri Holloway, Maserati Rick. Um, you know, at the time, you know, he was the freshest. He had a hand in the boxing game. His brother was a boxer. Like I said, he, you know, he was a businessman. You know, east east side of Detroit was black, you know, predominantly at the time it was white on the west side. All right. But. You know, I don't want to go too deep in it because each story I tell you is going to intertwine. We did White Boy Rick before, not him, not Dimitri Holloway. Sometime later, then we all connect the dots and do a good video on the best friends all together. But, um, you know, yeah, I know a lot of people hear that name, Maserati Rick, and I really don't know if they knew how he got the name, you know, what they knew about him. But I know people know their name, Maserati Rick, and they know about the Mercedes Benz Classic from here to Alaska. People know that street story, but yeah, Dimitri Holloway, not to give away too much, um, he had a similar fate. Yep. Um, you know, real, real similar fate, but you know, it is what it is, man. When you live that life, you know, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's two endings, you know, usually death and jail, but, um, yeah, hood stories. I think it's episode seven. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I intend to at least do one or two more this weekend. So y'all be on the lookout, man, and, and some other stuff we're doing. I definitely appreciate everybody for checking us out. Stock community is getting deeper on this if you want to jump ahead of us. But uh, don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Those links in the description. I definitely appreciate everybody. Make sure you check out our Raw and the Cup podcast. The link's in the description as well. And uh, much blessings to all the brothers. If you would like to donate, because I don't get paid for these videos, um, you can share these videos, and that would be the best donation. Or you can hit the PayPal link in the description. I know what the business is.